Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda, and welcome to Pinky Mouse Cakes, Cookies, and Candy, also known as Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. So we're happy that y'all joined us this morning, and um, it's um, overcast day. We're going to have some rain already come through and some more coming through, but we're still in the land of it's, living, right? Yeah, it was some uh, bad clouds in Longview when I come through. I was but, afraid uh, it would be. But it never did rain, but it was dark. Yeah, it so. looked like at one time, it looked like the bottom was going to fall out here. And when we say the bottom fall out, we mean, we mean heavy <laughs> right. rain. Yeah. That's, that's another one of our little sayings. Yeah. So today we're making my version of Cracker Barrel chicken and dumplings. That's what the thing she gets every time we go to Cracker Barrel, she gets dumplings. I love chicken and dumplings. And um, it's, you know, it's not the healthiest meal in the world. Um, and I'm not going to eat a lot of it, but I am going to eat a little bit of it. And um, some people don't like chicken and dumplings. Well, I'm, you're not crazy. About I'm them. not crazy about chicken and dumplings. I like the the juice, the broth yeah. with some with the chicken and cornbread. Yep, that that's what I like. I don't care for the dough part of the. Was it Uncle Jesse that didn't like dumplings? I know he didn't care for biscuits. I don't know, but I've never been. I'm a bread person, but we just I didn't never eat that much biscuits. I never had. I them. love biscuits. Mm. Um, so first of all, um, I've got broth on the stove that's been on warm for um, for a little while, but we're going to move over there in a little bit. But first of all, these dumplings, this recipe that I'm using is kind of a wet dough, okay. and it needs to set just a little bit. So we're going to mix these up real quick, and uh, Mary's okay. going to be... I've already cooked my chicken. And, and you, did you bro, uh, uh, bro, boil the chicken? I Is cooked it in the quick it? cooker. In the quick cooker. Yes. Okay. So in here, I have got four cups of all-purpose uh, flour, um, two tablespoons of baking powder, um, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm just going to give this a quick whisk. I washed my hands just before we came on. So. And for our members in the uh, recipe, I put... Um, chicken breasts or chicken thighs. I know a lot of people like uh, chicken thighs because they have a lot of good flavor in them. Um, I'm not a dark meat person. Please don't fault me for that. That's one of my picky <laughs> things from childhood. But um, anyway, uh, we're remember. using chicken breasts. You and the bully bone. Yep, I, I just like white meat. It's what I like. Okay, so I have got... This ain't cutting get too good for squares. It's coming apart. It, it's so, going to okay. spread because I really cooked that chicken a lot. So I'm going to get a spoon to mix this with. Um, I don't like putting um, gloves on while I'm mixing this because it sticks to the gloves, Mary. Yeah. So the I'm dough. Just gonna, yeah, I'm going to yeah. kind of mix it with the spoon and my... Um, bowl scraper. So I've got two cups of whole milk plus four tablespoons. And I'm just going to pour this in here and I'm going to mix it up. I wasn't listening. Was that the whole, uh, Chef Rice's flour? Yes. Okay. No, no, it's all purpose. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Mary. It's all purpose. Okay. I do use Chef Rice and flour for biscuits. Okay. But uh, the dumplings you use all purpose. You've got salt and baking powder that you're adding to this. So if you'll notice, this is a really sticky wet dough. I didn't mean that disrespectful when I said I wasn't listening. What it, <laughs> what it is with me is when I got my mind on something, everything else is tuned out. And I had my mind on this, this chicken, so oh, I'm listening goodness. now, Linda. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, you're going to see that this is going to need some more flour added into it. And you know, all the recipes, Mary, that Molly used to say. And by the way, do you know today's her birthday? Molly? I knew it was in March, but, but I forgot. It sure, what, it sure so, um, she always said, and, uh, and a lot of old people did too, when you're making something work your flour in, uh -huh. they didn't tell you how much amounts. They just knew by working it in. I know. And that's what they mean. You're going to need to add some flour to this. So we're going to let this set uh, just a pinch, maybe about 10 minutes. And um, I'm going to get tiny bit of oil, not much, I don't want oil in my dumplings, but I'm going to get just a tiny bit. 
You, what you gonna do? Put oil on your hands? On my bolster. On your bow. Oh, okay. I don't want much, cause you, you know, you don't want oil floating in your dumplings. Yeah. But well, that's um, something I. The only kind of dumplings that I make is with that flour tortillas. So and I just got just a tiny bit of oil, and I'm just gonna put it a little bit on my bowl scraper. And just kind of get this away from the bowl. Homemade is the best, is what I've heard. What I've always heard is homemade dumplings are the best. And I'm sure they are. But at the church, when we have our fall fest, that's one of the things we serve is homemade chicken and dumplings and vegetable beef soup. And I always eat the vegetable beef soup. <laughs> I don't eat the dumplings. And when I go, I get the dumplings. Yeah, and you always I, like the dumplings. Mary, yeah, when you get to it, that chicken would you I'm pour pretty. that broth back over it. Yeah. So it doesn't dry out. And uh, that's something else we want to tell them. Um, we're going to actually cover this in, in some stretch tight. I'm going to put it back in there. Yes. But, um, because if you don't cover this, it's going to develop it, a skin and it'll yes. get hard. Yes. And um, sure if you am. have someone that's very particular about my, the way Mike is, um, he's going to peel that hard part off. And he do doesn't you like want, it. Do you want this plate over it too? Or you just want to? Uh, I think we'll just put a piece of plastic okay. wrap over it. Okay. To make sure. Now you put this mat. Yes. I don't always remember to do that, but you're really supposed to do oh, yeah. So we're going to set this aside here. And we're going to move over here and I'm going to get my uh, cornbread mixed up and then we'll come back over and roll the dumplings. So, um, <laughs> we're both going <laughs> off the camera. We just go all over the kitchen and we don't have nobody here to keep up with us. Um, I had to wash my hands. Okay, so um, I'm going over there and do the cornbread, Mary. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put the camera over there. And just go ahead and... Uh, and then we're going to turn this broth up and get that a little higher. This is already Wednesday, isn't that it? I have to quit the time for these weeks. No, they go so by so fast. fast, it is unbelievable. Y'all have seen me make and come married to make cornbread dozens of times, but I'm going to get the skillet really hot before I put some oil in it. I, uh, I love cornbread, and I don't make it that often since Bobby's. Chuck will eat it, but I just, uh, I, when I make a pan of cornbread, Einstein gets half of it. <laughs> I like it when it's hot, when it first comes out yeah. of the oven with a lot of um, butter on it, which um, I'm not going to put much on it today, but um, I've got my oven on 425, and most of the time, I don't measure this. That's one probably one of the hardest things with us. It is. Because we're so used to cooking. Yeah. You have to actually figure out what you're putting in there. I've got about so a cup and a half of self-rising uh, cornmeal and about a uh, three-fourths cup of flour in here. Okay. And um, I put a little bit of salt and pepper, about a tablespoon full of baking powder. And I know it's self-rising, but I still put baking powder I do in it. I do and I'm going to put one egg in my milk. Do you put sugar in your cornbread? I, no, you don't. I do not. Sometimes I Daddy do. Daddy did. Yeah. Daddy Sometimes put sugar. I do. What is that, about a cup? of my whole milk, not quite a cup. I'm gonna put my egg in here and I'm gonna beat it with the, um, with the mixer. I know that this is probably something. I don't like real sweet cornbread, but I do like a little, a little bit uh, in it. I mean, I like it without it, but I, I do put a little bit, of, uh, about a teaspoon a sugar in mine sometimes. And you know that, uh, I was looking at a recipe the other day and it was, uh, it called for sugar in something that I, I don't normally put sugar in. So it, it depends on your your taste, what you like. That's what it depends on. So while that skillet's getting hot, I have got here, this is a nine quart pot and it's about half full of broth. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. I've got some extra broth That's out there good. in case we need it. And I'm going to bring that has been strained. This is the broth that I cooked the chicken in, plus I added some to it. And Mary, I actually used some uh, bouillon cubes today. Okay. Uh, because um, um, the my chicken base was okay. out of date and might uh, throw it out. <laughs> I 
around much. I've been checking mine because I bought two or three containers at a time. That's what happened. I bought it during when COVID first started. Oh, you did? And okay. I didn't use all I bought and shame okay. on me for not. But yeah. um, anyway, you know, it's one of those things. I need to check it because I usually, I usually take some of mine to the church because uh, when we're doing dinners and things. And you I know what I, I did? Do that. Yeah, you yeah. know what I did to, to crush up the, the bouillon Brand? cubes? I, I used my meat tenderizer. And, okay. and just hit it and, okay. it, and it made powder with it. Oh, okay. And so I've got um, uh, bouillon cubes, and I think I put six, and that's a lot of broth. So don't you know? Don't fault me for putting so many because like they are, yeah, yeah, they are um, yeah. concentrated. And then I reserved here. I want to get water in my skillet. I reserved about it's probably about a cup and a half of broth. And uh, once we get the chicken, the chicken dumplings done. We're going to whisk in that broth. We're going to whisk in a, a large size, I think that's family size, of chicken, uh, cream of chicken. Now, a lot of people and a lot of recipes will call for heavy cream or milk and chicken and dumplings. And again, you cook the way your family likes. Mike has things that he will not eat. He's very particular. He doesn't like a cream taste. So I use cream of chicken mm -hmm. instead. Well, I, I use both. Do you? Yeah, okay. I use I use milk and cream of chicken. Yeah. I'm going to put about, probably about. But my, I don't make them like, I don't make mine homemade like you do either, so. Maybe like a half a tablespoon of oil in here. My and you heat top. your skillet on top of the stove. Yes. Sometimes I put it in the oven, sometimes I heat it on top. Okay. But I can tell that it's hot. Yeah. And then I've got probably about a teaspoon of bacon grease that I'm also going to add to that. And I'm going to let that get smoking hot. And I was just waiting just a well, minute. It's almost that. It's almost smoking. Almost. I guess I'll go ahead and mix up my cornbread now. So i got the egg in here and the milk. I guess they can see me, huh? Here. I'll move it over there. I think they can see I me I beat there. the egg in with the milk. And that was not quite. It's about three-fourths a cup of milk, whole milk. And I got a little bit of extra water here because I don't like, I like my cornbread to be kind of on the thin side. I do too, Linda. I, I like my, uh, well, it, I, it makes it lighter and yes, fluffier if your, if your batter is, is, is um, a little thin. And that's probably about a half a cup of water, mm -hmm. maybe a fourth a cup of water, and I okay. still don't have it right where I need it. show them the mixer? I don't I have it exactly right where I need it yet. I'm going to drop this. That's still a little bit too yeah. thick. Don't you think? Yeah. It is to suit me. You want me to turn your burner on? No. Okay. It'll be okay. We're standing right here. I don't think okay. we'll start a fire. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're fixing port in the skillet. Now that's the consistency I like. Yeah. Me too. Okay. You ever eat cornbread that's just like, it's just mushy thick? It's because the batter wasn't thin. That's what makes it thick. Like that, you know, it's, not, you know, it's doughy like, it doesn't get good done. That's because the batter Okay, is thick. so we got our cornbread ready. It's um, dirty anyway, so I'll just use that to wipe that off. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> And I'm going to cook this for 20 minutes at 425, and then I'll bump it up to 450 the last five minutes. We had a nice visit with Carla yesterday. She went back home. And, uh, yeah, it was so nice to see yeah, her. It was nice to see her. I hadn't seen her in several weeks. And, um, she misses being here. Yeah, she sure did. She misses being with us, but she just... Um, not able to do a whole lot until she gets. She really like, shouldn't so, have been driving. She shouldn't have been. She, she shouldn't have been driving. You're she right. did anyway. So okay, we need that off. No, I'm gonna leave this one on. I'm gonna turn it back on. Turn that back on to low. You want to keep your broth hot. And has this started boiling yet? Almost. I don't want it to boil, boil over. It's so boiling. I think I'll take this lid off. Okay, it's it's boiling. Let me see if I can find somewhere to sit. Y'all ever run out of counter space? Well, I do. Wouldn't it be nice if we just had a 
on both sides of us just I know. lined up with this oh, canvas face. Yeah, I'd that'd love, be nice. I'd love to design my own yeah, kitchen. Oh, me too. Me too. Okay, so we took that off, so it's on medium. That should be okay. Okay. All right, did I set the timer? Yes. Okay, now let's move over here. Okay. And we're going to roll some dumb ones. Uh, when I move right. this, it makes it uneven. I don't know why it does that. Okay. All right. I always kind of wipe my counter off. It helps this mat to stick to yes, it. Yes, it does. So I'm going to really generously uh, grease this with, I mean not grease it, dust it with flour and I'm going to move this to your end, Mary. Okay. We're going to be putting the dumplings on that. Okay. You got and some flour. You can pick them up with that. Yes, here's my canister here. Would you put that tray over there for this me, Mary? This tray? Yes, and get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm going to get a good bit of flour on here, and then we'll just keep some out in case we need more. Now you may think that's a lot, but because this is a light dough, we're going to need have to work some in it, don't you? In fact, we may need more than that. Okay. I want to get all of that out. Scraper sure does. Yeah. Do you need is. something else to, to um, scrape that off the that pan? red spatula over there okay. that we used earlier? Thank you, Mary. Okay, I'll leave that there just in case I need it. Okay. And I'm actually going to put out. I like to do that because that way I'm not um, fixing to get flour on my skirt. <laughs> That way I'm not reaching back into the cup yeah. and you don't have to wind up throwing it out. Yeah. So um, in the recipe for our members, it said to roll this out to a half inch thick. Well, I can tell you right now, um, the last time I made them, I didn't like them that thick. Exactly. So I'm going to roll them out a lot thinner mm -hmm. than that. Okay. And I'm also going to cut them longer than I said. Um, and I may have should have divided. I was, I was wondering. <laughs> you started rolling, I thought, mm, you got a lot of rolling to do. Yeah, that's a that lot out. of dough. <laughs> yep, it is. It's okay. You'll get it done. Now, for those of you um, who may be new to making dumplings, um, we're, you're going to notice that we've got a lot of flour on here, and Mary's going to have flour on that pan. Um, you want that flour when you put it in your... Um, in your hot rolling stock or chicken broth, you want the flour in it too. That's going to help thicken your broth. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Mary could tell you all as much about these dumplings. Oh, no, I couldn't. I could. Oh, no, I couldn't. I'm not a dumpling maker. I, I do the, the, tor uh, the flour tortillas. <laughs> well, Mama started making That's them. She made dumplings many, many times. Yeah. Uh, homemade. But um, she also uh, made, later years in life, she started making dumplings um, out of flour tortillas. Yeah. And for the most part, that's what our, uh, that's yeah. what our family yeah. does now. Yeah. It, now, it I'm is. doing this kind of backwards because um, you got to thin, you gotta get I should have, uh, yeah, I should have. I like your little dough cutter. Thank you. This is so old, I don't think they even make them anymore, but there's some more fancier ones like this. Yeah. And um, you need your knife. Uh, I'm gonna use that edge oh, okay. cutter. Okay. And I'm gonna cut them probably about two and a half inches, maybe. Um, they don't have to be exact. Do you want me to go ahead and pick them up and put them over here? Uh, yes, and you may have to, you know, you may, I was gonna let you use this bench cutter, but I'm using it, so. Um, Anyway, there, I'll let you have it. And in the past, I put dumplings in as I, as I cut them, you know, and Mama did too. But I'm going to try to put the most of these in at the same time. And that way they're, you know, they're all cooking about the same time.
These are, it's very light, isn't it? This mm -hmm. dough is it very is, light. It is. You have to keep it uh, flour covered once you get your tray over here. And if there's a little scraps that are uh, odd, saw, odd, odd size, put them in there. Yeah. You know, right. you don't want to waste them. Right. I'll let you go ahead and do that, Mary. And, um, you know, when you're making dumplings, some people like a lot of juice. Some people like them really thick. So if you like them really thick, just cut down on your broth. But I'm going to tell you that these dumplings are going to absorb a lot of broth. Right. Now, Linda, uh, do you, you want that uh, piece of uh, parsley to throw that? Along? Yes. Go yeah. Parsley. In that uh, drawer there okay. underneath that. Um, okay. Um, you know where the you know where it's yeah. at. It's that little small thing, that brown. Yeah. I've got big things of parchment, but I was just trying to use that one. It's it's a brown thing, maybe. Uh, I think there's still one under there. I can check and see if if you can't find it. If you can't find it, just get that. You have uh, I don't know. I may do it. Just get that cheap foil. That'll be fine. Foil or... Um, the cheap foil, yeah, if you don't see that. I don't know why I can't see it. I it it's on. probably pushed back. It's probably pushed back under there. All right, maybe, use your foil. maybe somewhere else. That's cheap foil. That's fine. Don't you keep cheap foil, too? I, I think I do have a roll. I try to keep it for things that... how light this is because I'm going yeah. to stick into my, to my pastry mat. Now, I'll tell you something else about dumplings. They're better the next day than they are the day you make them. So, you might think this is a lot to make at one time, but trust me, make the whole batch and you've got some leftovers. Um, if you have somebody you want to take some to or either you have your, your supper ready for the next day. <laughs> My thinking is, if you're cooking something, you may as well cook yeah. enough to justify you to go the trouble to do That's it. That's usually what I do. Whatever I cook is enough for two meals. If it's a, if it's a, a one meal dish yeah. like this, like soup or, or dumplings or something. And these are these really don't take long to roll out. You do a good job. Well, thank you. I had some pretty good teachers along the way. <laughs> I have a combination. My cooking is a combination of Mama and Mary and Sister Jean. I learned a lot from Sister Jean because I was, you know, I was around her a lot you in lived my, with her a lot in my um, growing up years, my early twenties, yeah. and um, and then I picked up a lot of stuff, not necessarily from being under Aunt Faith's uh, teaching, but. No one how particular yeah. Aunt Faye always was. And if you're watching Aunt Faye, hi, and Aunt yeah. Laverne, if y'all are watching. I talked to Aunt Laverne a, a little morning. bit this morning. I did, and um, she's still having problems with her legs, bless her heart. We have got to get down there yeah. to see them. Uh, These so months go by so fast. Yeah, they do. It seems like you've seen them, and then it's six, eight months later, and you hadn't seen them. Mm -hmm. uh, now, do you just keep stacking them, or you put another layer? You put on another layer, yeah, because we don't want them to. Don't want them to stick. We don't want them to stick. And if they need extra flour on it, just you know, just put extra flour on it. Here. You put you put flour on your parchment paper before you put your dumplings on there. I'm using foil here. She had uh, nail, but she had parchment paper on the bottom. I just have an idea that parchment paper. It's, I looked under there. I it. have an idea that somebody other than me put it up. <laughs> and if they did, I know who that somebody is because there's only two of us live here. So when I want to find something, if it's if it's in a different place or if it's up high, I know I wasn't yeah. the one that put it there. 
Mike and I kind of have a, have a running joke about that. I was looking for my rolling pin this morning, yeah. and I've got another rolling pin up there, but I was looking for it, and I said, where is my rolling pin? <laughs> and finally I found it, and guess where it was at? It was way uh -huh. up high, yeah. and I told Mike, he said, did you find it? I said, yeah. He said, where was it at? In the wrong place. <laughs> You're hot. working. I'm not hot. I'm You're working. Hot. And I'm gonna get the rest of this rolled out here. And I'm gonna run in yonder for just a second. Okay. I'll do it. Uh, and Aunt Laverne, uh, say so Faye was was doing a little bit better. You know, she had that dizzy uh, stuff going on for for has for a long time, but. She got a little bit better, she said. That's good. I sure she just, am glad. But she's not, she's still having some, but it's just not as bad. I was talking to Nate Laverne, and, and um, I was running a little bit late getting here, and Linda called in a few, min a few minutes. My daughter Carla called. And I'm still talking to Aunt Laverne. And I said, and then in, uh, then in a few minutes, Linda called again. I said, Aunt Laverne. I'm, they know I'm on my way, and if one of them can't get a hold to me, they're going to be calling the whole family to see if they talk to me. I'm telling you, <laughs> when we can't get a hold of this one, we send a, we send a, a search party out for them because it scares us, and I was, I had asked Mary to stop and get me some milk, and I was so afraid that something happened while I, she was doing something I asked her to do, and it just, Something like that just worries me to death. But anyway, I'll be back in a second. So I told Aunt Laverne, I said, well, Aunt Laverne, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to hang up and, and call Linda back and tell her that I'm okay. So, yeah, tell them about that time. You changed hotels and didn't oh, yeah. tell nobody. Oh, yeah. That, that was right after my husband died. That's been about, what, 15 years ago? <laughs> I was right after my husband had died. Um, I um, I was traveling like Linda. I traveled like Linda on, on projects, and um, I had it was in um, oh what's the name of that town? It's in Kansas. It's in Kansas. Um, I can't even. I can't even think of it now because I don't tip my tongue. Anyway, I had to, I had told them the hotel that I was staying in, but I changed hotels because something happened when I was when I was checking in. Anyway, I had to change hotels. I didn't call and tell them. I just forgot. And uh, when I did get back to the hotel, because I called my cousin and talked and and met with her for supper that night, and I was just taking my time. I wanted you know her to get back to the room. And uh, when I got when I checked in the hotel, they said, "Miss Lumen, you've got some messages. You need to you need to call home." <laughs> oh, that thing is so funny. I honestly, I thought something bad had happened. I didn't think that they were looking for me, uh, but they keep up with me. Uh, I'm not quite that bad. I mean, I I will check on Linda if I don't hear from her, but. Uh, I'm not quite that bad. But anyway, it scared them because they thought something had happened to me. And I had been taking care of my husband for so long. And, and every time I would go out of town for a while, I would worry so much about him and under so much pressure and, and, uh, and uh, stress until, uh, and I don't mean this in an ugly way, but... It was like I don't have that stress anymore or worrying about trying to take care of him and me away from home. I'd be gone like two weeks at a time. And um, so I was kind of like I was taking, you know, nice to be, not have to worry. And um, so I was kind of enjoying it until I found out that I had my family worried. I didn't know they was gonna be worried about me we like were that. Calling every hotel and what I you know. in Kansas City. 
Yeah. Linda, what's that, what is in that town that Karen and them lives Overland in? Overland Park. Overland Park. That's what I was trying to think of. Anyway, um, I, um, I worked there for a couple of weeks and then home, um, but. Okay. And she found the hotel, and she didn't even know which hotel I was staying at. But she apparently called every hotel in, in uh, Overland Park. I'm a, I'm a good detective. Yeah, you know. <laughs> if I hadn't have found you, I would, I would have been calling in the FBI or something. Well, you knew pretty well the chain of hotels yeah, that I stayed at. So. I did. All yeah. right. I'm not putting another foil on there till we empty this. Don't okay. use it. Waste okay, another that sheet. Good. So, so I guess we're going to move over here to okay, the Okay, let me thing. wash my hands. I've got the um, um, cam camera. I've got the, um, I'm fixing to have it boiling. It's not quite boiling yet, but I'm turning up the, the um, heat so it's going to get a little hotter. So once this is boiling, we're going to drop these in there. And um, I kind of want to show them how they're going to... Okay. You know, you have. I'll hold the camera. Push them down. Okay. I'll hold the camera when you put them in there. I'll sh I'll put the camera where they can see you. Okay. So I've got a spoon here. I'm going to get this boiling first. Okay. But again, this is a nine quart pot. It's about half full of broth, and I want it to be a rolling, full rolling boil. Okay. And um. And then once it gets to boiling, we'll put our dumplings. They're gonna. They're going to go to the bottom, but then they're going to come back up. Yeah. You just want to push them down so they're, you know, they at least got a bath. Yeah. Bath. Yeah. And once I get these done, well, you can hand me the rest of them. Mary. Okay. And then we'll do our whisk and our cream chicken in. We won't put that in to the last because these okay. have got to cook about 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So they're not. Well, I, I should have known that. And some people say that. cook dumplings covered. Some people say cook them uncovered. Well, some you do. Some people say cook them 10 minutes covered and then the rest of the time uh, uncovered okay. or, or vice versa. Okay. I'm going to leave mine, uh, I'm going to leave the lid off because this okay. is going to be a pretty full pot and I don't want them to boil over. Uh, but I will well, put a wooden spoon across there. <laughs> well, I've got works. one of the things over there. Oh, you do? But, okay. Yeah, I've got a wooden spoon too. Okay, we got a full rolling yes. bowl. But, um, uh, are you ready to put them in? Yes. Okay. So, don't worry about the flour. I'm going to move these okay. on, um, on you, Mary. Well, actually, they are staying down pretty good this time. Now, these are going to swell up, and then they'll shrink some. That's how dumplings do. Some people make dumplings in little, kind of little balls like biscuits. See how they come back yeah, up? Yeah. And they puffed up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pour this flour in here. Now, I'm going to take that sheet. Where I guess I'll wait Oh, go. Pan. Well, you can hear. Here. here. <laughs> here. Okay, and, and you set to. Yeah. I'm thinking about that, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, as so, close as possible to yeah. the same time because you want them all to pretty much cook right. about the same time. Is that your oven? Yeah. You need to. Uh, I'm gonna bump my bake baking up to 450. Probably irritating everybody. Well, but it, when you're watching the video, you can hear it. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna turn these down once they all get in here. But I like it being on the paper because you can yeah. 
you can just pour the excess flour in there. Right. I guess I'm standing in front of the camera again. I have the hardest time remembering not to get my back in front of the camera, Mary. You don't do that. Well, I don't know. I, I don't uh, know if I do or not. Uh, and this is going to be a pot full of dumplings. Yes, it is. And normally I would have more meat in here than I do this time. But well, I, you put the meat in there after the dumplings yeah. get done, don't you? Yeah. I, um, I cooked what I had thawed out, and it was well, only four chicken It'll breasts. be fine. It will be fine. Mike asked me this morning, did I have enough chicken out for you? And I said, well, it's gonna, I'm going to make do with it. Yeah, it's fine. Now, if Mama was cooking dumplings, she would have cooked a hen. Yeah, she did, didn't she? She would have cooked a hen, yeah. and it would have been it would have been real, yeah, real uh, rich broth. But we made some good broth. Oh yeah, we made oh, some absolutely. very good broth. So we're gonna um, got a mess here on the stove. I'm gonna turn these down because I don't want them to boil over. Can you imagine us doing that at the at the uh, church? It's just huge, big old yeah. boilers. You got all right, Mary. I'm gonna get a wooden spoon now. <laughs> Is it in the door there? I don't. I don't want. To, I don't want to mess. Yeah. On my stove. Of course, you know the tea go. <laughs> there it goes. That's a salad thing, but yeah, we can use it'll it. Work. It'll work. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's long enough. Not big enough. It won't. Well, just it's just not long enough. Down. I'll, I'll get. I'll get the thing that actually think, is for that. Do you think that the bit on the side would work? I don't we'll know. find out. Yeah. I put some good fresh cracked black pepper in there. Scared me to death. <laughs> is that your cornbread? Yeah, um, probably. Yeah. Well, that cornbread wouldn't be popping. That's mm -hmm. an iron skillet. Probably the stove. Probably the stove. Must have been. Stove's hot. Okay, these are our tasting spoons here. I uh, guess I can move this. Get this out of the way. Now, now you, I'll stand here with it because I don't want it to. I want to make sure it don't boil over. Now, what are you gonna? When you gonna decide whether you gonna put a lid on it or not? You're not gonna put a lid. I'm on not it. gonna put a lid okay. on it because it's too much in it. Okay. I'm afraid it would I'm afraid yeah. boil over. Okay. And I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna get a little this cleaned up over here, Mary. All right. If you can just stand there in front of me. All right. I'm gonna stand here in front of these. Uh, and watch that. Dumplings. <laughs> they sure are smelling good. It smells delicious. And we're going to have to taste them for salt. Okay. Because um, I did not put, I did salt the chicken, uh -huh. but I didn't put any salt at all in the broth. Well, and I did the broth is salty. The, yeah. Because of the uh, bouillon. I have to be very careful when I'm using that chicken base. Because it is really salty, and I just, I sometimes I've almost gotten something that I was cooking too salty because of the, the uh, chicken base. Yeah, you definitely have to watch it. And since she said that about yours going out of date, I got to go home and check dates on mine. I think I just got those Christmas though because every fall I usually take what I have in in my pantry to the church. So I'm pretty sure that what I have is. Is I just got Christmas. Yours are probably good. It's just, um, you know, Mike does this ever so often, goes through stuff. Yeah. It ain't been long since I did that, though, so I so don't think mine's out of date. That needs to be thrown out. Either. Well, on my spices, I did. It was my spices that I went through uh, not very long ago. And, and I have a sack full of spices that I don't want. Um... Mm -hmm. I've just got too many. I just, uh, some of them just about to expire, and then uh, some of them are, aren't. You use a lot of spices. I use a I lot of spices. I tend to use the same ones over and over. I have, you know, some go-tos that I yeah. use all the time, yeah. and that's what I keep. I keep um, paprika, sage, um, that's your cornbread? crushed red pepper, cayenne, Black pepper, salt, yeah, that's my cornbread. Garlic powder and basil and maybe a couple others. That's what I keep. 
Okay. I'm gonna move this over here, Mary. Okay. Hopefully there's room. Linda made the dumplings this morning. Somebody was asking, when did you make them? I made, she made them. She, she rolled them out this morning. She, she mixed them up and rolled them out this morning. You know what? I'm going to cover this for just shortly. So okay. would you help keep an eye I on will. it? I will. I'll stand right here. Make sure that it doesn't boil over. I sure will. And I'm going to mix that up. I think okay. I'm done with this. So, are you timing these dumplings, or are you just going to know about? I, I do need to time them. We'll know, but um, What's, since the cornbread's done, I'll... The timer just went off, so is that I'll the cornbread? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to set it for 22 minutes. Okay. Get this out of the way. Well, it hasn't rained yet, Linda. Uh, I'm hoping that, it, that I don't get caught in it before I get home. I hope you don't either, Mary. I, that's why I called you this morning. I was worried. Oh, I'm afraid that... I don't mind driving in the rain. I don't like driving in the storm in the rain. Keep driving but, in bad um, weather. Okay. And we're going to put our cornbread... Um, on uh, I don't... Uh, that chicken base, Kay, uh, I have never seen it in Walmart. It's in Sam's. There is, there is one in Walmart, but it's not that kind. Oh, okay. It's not tones. Oh, okay. Would you close it? I will. For me, please. Thank you. Ooh, that cornbread sugar's look good. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, looks delicious and smells good, too. Always leave a pot holder on an iron skillet, because if I don't, Mike, of course, he won't be in here while we're filming, <laughs> but he's after to come in here and pick that up. Have you ever, or, or either myself, have you ever touched a hot iron skillet handle? Hey, Linda, don't you remember that in Branson on your on your birthday? We went to your birthday on your, went to Branson. Yeah. Uh, and, um, and we made biscuits for everybody. We had all all the family. We um, oh, yes, got a room. Yes, and on, yes, on yeah, Mother's Day weekend. On a Mother's Day weekend. It's on your birthday, Mother's Day weekend. We went to Branson, and all my uh, kids and grandkids all met there and had a wonderful two or three days. I, we made breakfast one um, this particular morning for everybody who had served a room. Well, we have we have about twenty five or thirty there. Yeah, we had a lot. Of your people. whole family was yeah, there. Yeah. And um, I made biscuits that morning for everybody. Do you remember that? And I reached and I reached and picked up that skillet. Yes. Remember that? You burnt your hand bad. with my hand. I I picked up that hot skillet in my hand. It blistered all the way through here. And you remember what I done? I immediately took mayonnaise and I put it all over the hand. Did you know I did not have that? Those it didn't even bubble up. Didn't even blister or leave a scar or anything. And I mean, my whole hand thawed now all day long. But it did not even come to a blister. Yeah, it was. I do remember that. Yeah. That was. That could have been a bad. It could have been bad because I picked that skillet up with my hand. That, that was, was such a fun. We weekend. had a wonderful one time. I was thinking about that. I the other would day. love to do that again. Yeah, I would was, too. Uh, Bradley was a little tiny baby. Yeah, a she, little sure tiny was. baby. Real little. Yep. So what? If, what if, is he six or is he? Isn't he six? Yeah, he's six. Is he six or something? I guess he's six. He'll be seven. He's, he's in kindergarten, so yeah. he's six. So yeah. it's been six years ago. Yeah. 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 And he that has a story. little sister, Kenley, and expecting a little uh, brother any day. What does he think about that, Mary? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. I have just got on my mind so heavy, strong to go up there so bad, but I just hadn't made up my mind yet. Um, it would be an awful quick trip, and we've got ladies' conference coming up, so I'm not sure that I'm going to do it, but... Um, that look ooh, good? that cornbread looks good, Linda. Let me see if I... I love hot cornbread. Do you eat butter on yours? No. Oh, I didn't think you did. Isn't that beautiful? Uh-huh. I wouldn't touch it. <laughs> I won't eat half that. Well, I'm going to eat a little. I'm not going to eat much like I usually do, but I am going to eat a little bit of it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, whisk you, that in there. You're going to go ahead and, and uh, mix up the, uh, the cream, of chicken. cream of chicken? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. And it'll be ready. And we want to pour that in there and the chicken right at the end, right, right when they get done. Okay. 
almost boiling over, but it didn't no, it quite didn't. go over. Uh -huh. So, um, I'm going to turn that up. I already opened my can. Mike usually opens it for me, and he came in here this morning and started trying. I said, I've already opened that. <laughs> Use that. So, the can yeah. over. You can't even tell it's been opened. Um, what do you need? Do we, I think a, a spatula. Out of that second drawer, maybe. Mm -hmm. Just any of them. Any of them is fine. I already used it when I had out. And she's put the creamy chicken soup and in some healthy water. Request, and it's just a little less fat, and I think it's a little less sodium, if I'm not mistaken. And it's uh, broth. It's that reserve broth, Mary, not just water. It's what? Oh, yeah. I, I did say water, didn't I? I meant broth. I, I, knew, I knew you knew what you was talking about. You know me. Sometimes I say one thing, th and, and what I'm thinking is something else. That's broth and chicken. Uh, now you chicken. can't use metal utensils with this brilliant yeah. cookware. You can with this. Right. But I've just got a silicone whisk that I'm going to whisk this together so it's smooth. You don't want lumps in it. And it only takes a jiffy to oh, do yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to keep it hot. Because anytime you're adding liquid, to something that's cooking, you should it yeah. should be hot. I'm gonna try a little tiny bit of it. <laughs> I know that going you know how good that is. Oh, I know it is. So good. I'm like my daddy. I love cornbread. Yeah, he did. Uh, daddy would eat um, syrup on his cornbread, wouldn't he, Linda? He ate He'd syrup. butter it hot he and then pour syrup, syrup on top of it. He loved syrup on so many things. I've never done that. And was, I have tasted it, but I don't. And it was eat. usually sorghum syrup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He loved oh that smell when you open a can of, of fresh sorghum syrup. And yeah. I know some of y'all may turn your nose up at that, honey, <laughs> but it is good. It's so good. Yeah. I opened a can one Christmas when I was making some cookies. And when I opened it, tears just oh. rolled down my eyes because it was brought just like memories. I was in our kitchen yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Because it brought back so many memories. Okay, we've got a few more minutes here. And I know what everybody says, you know, don't watch the pot. doesn't cook when you're watching the pot and all that. But I'm watching it because I don't want it to boil over. And I'm fixing to open, take the lid off. That has happened to me so many times on my chicken and dumplings that I, I let it boil over. So many times I've done that. Mary, I've got two spoons out there. and These are okay. done, but I want to taste of this broth okay. and see if we need any more salt in it, and I want you to taste it too. I know our taste is different because yeah. you don't you don't require don't, as much salt as I, don't, I usually yeah, do. I don't have to have as much salt. You're going to say it's probably not enough. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd say it had enough, but you're going to say it don't. don't yeah. um, I'm going to probably add just a pinch to it, not much, but I'm definitely going to add some more black pepper to it. I think it needs pepper, don't you? It could use some pepper. So we'll but that broth that is delicious. Delicious. Um, so, you know, take a little bit of time when you're cooking. I think that's, you think that's what intimidates people, Mary? They think they don't be. have time to cook? I, I don't know. Um, it takes time to cook. It ain't too many things you can do that you can just get in the kitchen and whip it up in 15, 20 no, minutes. There's a few things, but not but a lot. Think about how, how long it takes you to go to pick up food. I've waited on food before for 45 minutes. After, I know it. After you I go ordered it. After you ordered, you, you sit there and You could have a whole meal cooked by then. <laughs> yep, yeah, so we just get too impatient. And it's, I guess, it's yeah. cook, it's cooks. And back when we were kids, you know, there wasn't a McDonald's on every corner. There wasn't Sonic or Burger King. We had, what, Dairy Creams? Yeah. There wasn't even Dairy yeah. Queens. It was a Dairy Cream. Queen. Yeah. And we had a little drive-in. There was a Reed drive-in. And I saw a picture yesterday on um, a pro, um, a place on Facebook that I follow um, with Nacogdoches, mm -hmm. our hometown. Sonic was up the street. And uh, it was Tommy's drive-in. Oh, and okay. Do you remember okay. Tommy's? Edward remembered it. I think it was on South Street. It was where the car hops came oh, out and waited on Oh, you. yeah. That was up there right behind uh, uh, South, uh, South Somewhere Street. Somewhere by the Brookshire. South, South Street, Pente uh, Pentecostal Church. Okay. And That's where it was okay. at. Okay. 
Right there as you turn to go to South. We used to call it South Street. It's not called that now. But that's what it was called yeah, when that, we were growing up. South Street Pentecostal Church. For all intents and purposes, that's yeah. what we know it is. It's South yeah. Street. Yeah. Um, it's 59 South is what right. it is. And it's it's like Tabernacle is what the name yeah. of the church is now. <laughs> but, um, or Calvary. I think it's Calvary. It may be. I can't remember. I, I can't Mama went to church there. Um can you think of any other fast food places that were there when we were kids? We didn't go to fast food. We didn't go to. We didn't go to eat them. That's the all dairy, I think of is the Dairy Queen, the Dairy Cream, and on the, North Street, and Sonic, and which that, was the other end of South Street. Uh, in case y'all were yeah. figuring this out, um, that's North Street where the Dairy Queen yeah. was. Yeah. Um, and we would go on Sunday to get a five cent nickel uh, a nickel ice cream. And she didn't like ice cream, so she got potato chips. And I and now I love ice cream. And I just I don't, don't ever remember. There wasn't a place uh -uh. to go pick up fried chicken. You know, there wasn't. If there were any of those places, we didn't. Hey, there was with a them. chicken place up there where Brooks is now. There was a little chicken. There's a okay. little right there. But we never we got to South Street. No, we didn't. But there was a little chicken place. I don't remember the name of it, but it was. Now a I'll tell you what place. they did have. They had barbecue places. Yeah, they did. They had barbecue yeah. places. And they were lined up and down 59 between Nacogdoches and Lufkin. I remember barbecue yeah. places yes. that were. And and again, I don't ever remember us getting any, do you? No, we didn't buy. I mean, we, Mom, we cooked. We done all, we done all the good. And you know what? That's My family was the same way. We did When I was raising my family, we did not go out to eat. We didn't. Mike we did and not I go out have eaten all. out. Very little in our entire married life. Now, the last few years, you know, if the day is real busy and I may stop and pick us up a salad or pick up something, but um, we have always rather cooked our food. We had just started this in the no, last few no, years. We've always cooked. I can remember when I first started buying potato chips and cokes and candy for my kids. I never kept that at the house. It was whenever Carla was in high school. I uh, up until then, I did not no, buy. I did not buy didn't junk food. Stuff, I didn't buy potato chips, food. candy. I mean, ever once in a while, occasionally I might buy a bag for a special occasion. But as far as keeping it in the house, I didn't. But whenever Carla was in high school, I started buying the snacks. And the one reason is because I worked, and I never worked away from home. But there was a period of time there that I worked outside the house, and um, uh. I had I felt like the kids needed a snack or something whenever they got home from school. So our snacks when we were kids was mostly was peanut butter cookies. Yes, yeah, it was. You know, every once in a while, mom would have a fried pie made for us, or she would just fix the dough and fix it like with cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, it wasn't even it wasn't yeah. even fruit. She'd fix it with cinnamon and sugar, but. Um, and the, and you did the same thing for your kids when they yeah. wanted a snack. You had yeah. cookies or something. Yeah. So we didn't we didn't grow up with stuff like that, Mama. If we wanted cookies, there wasn't a bought bag of cookies. I don't ever remember a bought bag of cookies in our house. Do you? No, but that makes me think about what Daryl said one time. Daryl is one of our cousins that's the same age as I am, and they on the Pinkston side on the Pinkston side, and he he got married fairly young, and I asked him one day. I said, well, Daryl, how do you like married life? He said, the best part of it is I'll always have a cookie. He said, I, he said at his house, when his mom would buy a bag of cookies, because there was four boys in the, in the family, he said, I'd get one, one or two cookies, and I'd go back to get more, and they'd be gone. He said, now I can eat all the cookies I want. He was just a kid, but I thought that was so comical that that's what he said, because uh, he could have all the cookies he wanted. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I never will forget that. Hey, you know what? He must have gotten married at 18. He, he was well, young. He had twins. He um, did. Um, his first babies were twins. Yeah. What, was it a boy and girl or two boys? Two girls. Two I girls. Think. I think it was two girls. I remember at the hospital when they were saying, asking who the daddy was, and he looked like he a was, kid, he but was he was an kid. adult, but he looked like a kid. He was a kid. And everybody was just, they were just like, you mean that's the daddy? Because they thought he was a child, but he it wasn't. Was before. Wasn't it before we moved to Mississippi? Yeah, it I was. So, yeah. so I, I knew he was young, and I just—it was just really shocking to me that he got married so young. And uh, and he lost his wife back yeah. several years ago. Yeah. Um, but um, 
we love to have just a little something around here. My y'all, I've told y'all this several times, but he likes cookies with his coffee, and he won't eat them every day. But I like to have a few uh, for him to eat, like right. if he wants to, and he'll get tired of them and then wind up throwing three or four out. But um, he likes to have like a little snack either in the morning or in the afternoon. I wanted a piece of that cake this morning with my cup of coffee, but I didn't do it because I knew I was going to eat some of this today. But I ate a piece of that, that cake yesterday, and it was good. It was really good. My friend, um, Kathy LePage in California, she asked me, she texted me yesterday before I got home and asked me about the cake, and I said, well, Kathy, to be honest with you, I didn't taste of it, but I, <laughs> I know it was good. It was she, good. But for all of y'all, let me tell you, you really need to put a lot of that simple syrup in it. It is like a pound cut cake. It absorbs it's, it. Yes. And I didn't put as much of that simple syrup over the first one that I cooked. But that one I cooked yesterday, I put a lot of simple syrup on it while it was hot. And it was so, it was just moist. It was so good. It was delicious. But it does take a lot of the simple syrup because it's a, like a pound cake. I'm going to test one of those uh, dumplings to see um, how close I okay. think it is to getting done. Okay. And then um, when it gets a little, little bit closer, I'm going to add the chicken. I want I want the chicken to, to get some flavor in it, so I'm, I'm not going to put it in there at the exact last minute. one out in a minute that I want to try. I just want a piece of one. Okay. What do you think? Cut it with a fork. It's getting close, isn't it? Yeah. They it feel tender, don't they? Yeah, they, yeah. It cut real, real easy. It did. Okay. So, we didn't taste these, so they're going back in the swim pot. And I think... I'm going to go ahead and add some chicken. Put that, put now, the you chicken. do want to stir these because they, they will, will stick. Right. So you want to stir them. I don't want them to come apart, but you want to be careful stirring them. You see how thick that broth is? Yeah, let me show them. And it, it will get even thicker yeah. After, it, yeah. after it sets. I'll put this in. You're gonna first, put the chicken. Mary. What? I'm gonna put the, the broth, broth in okay. first okay. because um, okay. I wanna um, I don't wanna stir the chicken to where it falls okay. completely apart. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour all of this in there and um, we'll stir it. And about how much that was a large can of creamy chicken soup. Yeah, and, and about, about how much? a cup and a half of broth. Of chicken broth. Okay. And I honestly I think I said one or two cups on the uh, would you stir that mm -hmm. that spoon, thank you. I think on the uh, members page, I think I said reserve either one and a half or two cups of the broth to add to this. And I didn't measure that, y'all know, I just, I didn't measure it all. So I want to taste again to see, and I'm going to add just a little bit more salt to that. I always wind up with a lot of taste spoons when, I, I know. when I'm tasting. Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. Oh, I know it does. It really doesn't need much, but I am going to put just a, a little bit in it. Okay. And it definitely needs more pepper. Oh, yeah. Your dumplings looks like black dumplings. When when she gets, when she puts, fixes her bowl, she just peppers it down good. My friends in Mississippi that I've known since they were little kids, they know when I peppered yeah. something, I've peppered it. Yeah. I'm Scotty, if, if you're watching Scotty, hi. Yeah. Hi, Scotty. He um, he said, you the one taught me how to eat corn on the cob. It had to be covered in black pepper. <laughs> those boys, I love those boys I so know. much. And they're grown men, but I still yeah. I still look at them as, as little boys. Yeah. Okay. Now here's my chicken, right, so and I'm gonna add this. Your way. I'm gonna add my chicken and just put the broth in all. There's not much, but there's a little bit of broth in this plate, so we're just gonna put all of that in there. Okay. 
probably stir it, stir it another time or two. And get, so a cl get a clean spoon, Mary, because I want you to taste it too. And see how close you think it is. As far as the... Excuse me. The seasoning is perfect to me. Okay. It's okay. delicious. We're not going to put anything else in it then. It is delicious. And I'm going to get the table cleared so we can get a little taste test over here. Every the time I move this camera, it, it uh, goes kind of sideways, and I, I don't like looking at it sideways. And it ain't sideways, but it's tilted just a little bit. Uh, there's Hazel Lambert. Says she loves black pepper too, Linda. <laughs> Oh, I think Hazel's from Mississippi, isn't she? Oh, is she? she? I don't know. Sure she is. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. It's making me hungry, too. It's making me hungry. Very hungry. It looks so good. I, uh... Are you, are you going to take it to the table? Yeah, I'm taking it uh, out of here. So, um, Monica said that Justin was at their church, uh, last, I think it's last week, um, our first cousin from Paris, oh, he's yeah. a chef, said she, uh, he was um, at their church uh, in Bider for, I guess he must have stayed a week or two, according to what she said. And everybody just loves Justin, oh, our we, cousin we, son. We love our son. He's got and the sweetest daddy. He, and that's what and I said. Kimberly. That's what I told Monica. I said, Monica, you you say that J Justin is sweet. Said his, his daddy was, and his mother too. His yeah. mother died uh, in a car accident, and his sister. There was Justin and and his sister, and. His mother and sister died in a car accident. Um, goodness. Was it 03? I yeah, think it was September, September after Mama yeah, died in, in, in May. In, in, uh, was it September or July? September, September. the 27th. Okay. Mama died May 27th. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to... I think those are done, Mary. You think they are? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to let you dip your bowl. Oh, okay. And Kimberly, um, uh, Justin's stepmother, is also very Yes, famous. absolutely. He, he uh, remarried, I don't know, it was a pretty good while later, because um, Justin's sister, when she got killed in a car accident, she had four children. So Justin's daddy raised those children, and he uh, remarried uh, a nice lady from Houston, I think, that's where she's from, and she helped raise the children. So... Uh, all right, Linda, you are yes. ready? Yes. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me a little, little bowl and um, we'll move up there and taste test these. You want to show them your bowl? Yeah. I'm splurging today. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get you some water. No, Sorry, that's okay. No, that's okay. Sit down. You, you, uh, you worked yeah, enough. You sit charged. down. You I, no, I'll be okay. If I need some water, I'll get it. I'll get you some. All right. Now these are very, very easy to make. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. I'm gonna take this off the fire. I'm gonna get this small piece. That's still, that. That's really not a small piece. <laughs> it's still a big piece, but anyway. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is gonna let, be. Let good. me move the camera over so it's not just on me. Y'all, this is how I like to eat my dumplings. I don't put your, take the little, and I'm gonna put this yeah, in here. Me that's too. How I like to me eat too. Oh, thank you, Jesus. There's a lot of people in this world that that's hungry, you know, and it just is so sad to think that we have all we want. I know. Mm. 
be so good. <laughs> it is so good. The dumplings are so tender. It's delicious. If you ever have bitten into a dumpling, and there are so many recipes for dumplings, but if they're, they're like they're packy and they're mm -hmm. hard, or mm -hmm. they've got hard center, these aren't like yeah. that. They're real light and fluffy. They're, they they're very, very light. light. So um, I hope y'all will get in the kitchen and make some chicken and dumplings, and I'm sure that most of y'all have made them probably hundreds of thousands of times, but there might be some people yeah. that haven't I hope, and I'm, that I'm never sure. tried them. I'm sure some of y'all out there learned how to make dumplings today. So we hope that y'all will share and like our page, like each individual video, share each individual video. Um, it helps us when you do that. Um, and also uh, for our printed recipes, um, they're on our website for the members. And um, we will be back on Monday. Monday at my house on Monday. Mary, you'll be cooking mm -hmm. your set by yourself yes. Monday. So, um, y'all be sure to join Mary. I'll be watching from this end. And um, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. You never know when we might pop on. Right. But our regular times are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 10 o'clock Central Time. And if you are watching us on this page, you probably already know yeah. that. Yeah. But uh, uh, you can share that with your friends. Okay. Thank y'all. Be sure to count your blessings. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.